So this is going to be a special wheelchair report where basically I'm just going to do my last report about Tim Hortons and I'm probably never ever ever going to use Tim Hortons ever again because Tim Hortons has been absolutely so cruel to me and anyone that's disabled and I'm going to about to show you exactly why and I'm going to do a special report on my web on my website wheelchairrights.wordpress.com with the name Tim Hortons in the title and I'm going to compile uh, other previous videos, reports that I've done of the other Tim Hortons that are in Halifax, which are all owned by the same franchise owner. And at the other, uh, some of the other locations, uh, they put power doors in, making people, the general public, think that Tim Hortons actually cares about people that are disabled. But I'm going to show you how, in this special report, and when you go to uh, the link underneath this video, you're going to see uh, the whole report. Showing, showing absolutely beyond any doubt that Tim Hortons is deliberately deceiving everybody and making it impossible for anyone in a wheelchair to get service in their restaurants. And uh, you're about to be shocked what you're going to see. I'm going to go inside this Tim Hortons with my camera running and I'm going to show you how this new Tim Hortons uh, on the right hand side you're going to see a bunch of chairs and tables sitting there. You're going to see a barrier with steel, steel, steel posts in the middle of the, in the walkway. And you're going to see that there's absolutely no room for wheelchairs to fit inside there and I cannot get up to the counter. And you have to realize when you're in a wheelchair, you have to pull up sideways to the counter because you have your feet in front of you and you can't reach the counter. The other thing you're going to notice about Tim Horton's counters is that they have, uh, they have all these uh, th objects on the counter so that it's almost impossible to reach across and hand your money to the person behind the counter because their counters are blocked. And when you're in a wheelchair, you have to sit sideways, you, you cannot reach. So the other day I went in when they first opened this Tim Hortons, and I noticed that I couldn't get up to the, uh, to the counter where the person was working. There's, there's like four counters there for servicing people. And the only one that was open, which is, is the last one in the, in the back of the store, and I couldn't get to it. And I, I said to the lady, I was talking to her, and she was rude and ignorant like they always are at Tim Hortons. Uh, all the Tim Hortons that this franchise owner owns, all their employees are really, uh, most of their employees are really, really re uh, vicious to me and cruel. And what happened is I asked the lady, I said, how can I get service here? Because I can't even get up to the counter and I have no room to turn my wheelchair around to get out. Because where they got the steel posts, they're in the way, there's no way for me to get through. And they want people to, to stand on one side of the post and come around. It, you'll see for yourself when I, when I go in. The area to the right where they have the, the seats and the tables shouldn't have any seats or tables because there's not enough room for people to stand and for wheelchairs to go in and turn around. So on that day, the woman said, oh, no, we thought about everything. We care about people in wheelchairs, and we have a special counter at the very front of the store with a wheelchair logo on it. So when I go in, I may not be in there very long on my camera because they might tell me to get out. But when, you, uh, when I go in, I'm gonna, after I come out, I'm going to continue my report. And I'm going to give you uh, an update of what you just saw. But when I go in, see if you see a wheelchair logo anywhere on the la left-hand side. And I doubt very much that anything has changed in this Tim Hortons because all their, their Tim Hortons franchises in this town are all the same. They are the most ignorant, cruel, vicious people you could ever imagine. And basically, uh, this is going to be the, the last Tim Hortons. I was at Scotia Square the other day and they treated me like garbage like usual. And um, so what's going to happen after I do this report? I'm probably never, ever, ever for the rest of my life I'm going to get uh, another Tim Hortons coffee. And the other problem is that there is no other places in this town where I can get coffee because uh, up there Starbucks is not ac accessible and there's basically no accessible places anywhere in this town. So when I go in, I'm going to turn on my other camera, which is sitting, which is my webcam, my wheelchair cam. So you'll get a different perspective from the other camera, and I'm going to put them also, that video also on my website. So uh, you're about to see what it's like to go into a Tim Hortons, and you're going to see for yourself why I have to go inside and do this report and show you that this place may be accessible through the door, but inside the Tim Hortons, there's no way I can get any service. If anything has changed from the other day in here, I would be shocked because in the past with all the other reports that I've done, I've asked Tim Hortons nicely like I always do with all businesses and they say, some of them say, oh, we'll do something and they don't. And so I end up doing wheelchair reports because nothing changes. People just don't care. So here we go. I'm about to, uh, to go into Tim Hortons and show you what it's like in this place.
manager here? I've been in here. I'm recording this for a good reason, okay? I, so anyway, I'm going to be notifying the owner and him. It's going to go online, right? Right. Tim Hortons mistreats people in wheelchairs, okay? The service that I've gotten in here has been atrocious. Every time I came in here, they had those posts in the way. I couldn't go in, I couldn't turn around, and I couldn't get a coffee. All the other Tim Hortons are like that in this town. They put power doors and it makes no difference. So. Not too bad. So you got to see probably pretty good what happens in Tim Hortons. If you try to talk to a manager, they don't want to be on the record because they sh if they were being honest and truthful and they really cared about their reputation, the manager wouldn't have been afraid to talk to me. So anyway, I don't think I'm ever going to go in Tim Hortons ever again because the other day when I went in there, there was only one person, like I said, working and it happened twice and I couldn't, I couldn't get service. They wouldn't move the post out of the way. Anyway, thank you for watching. Go to wheelchairrights.wordpress.com and see the other reports that I've done.